Hi, this is Kerry from FreeOutSDTutorials.com. Somebody sent me a message over the Facebook page asking me, how do you make those cute little chipmunk voices out of your own voice? So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. First of all, we need to record our voice. So here we go. Here's the record button. Hi, my name is Kerry. I am doing a recording to show you how to make it sound like Alvin and the Chipmunks. That's probably copyrighted and I probably shouldn't have said that. But regardless, uh, I'm showing you how to make the chipmunk voice. Okay, so there's my recording. You can listen to it ahead of time. Hi, my name's Kerry. I am doing a recording to show you how to make it sound like Alvin and the Chipmunks. That's probably copyrighted and I probably shouldn't have said that. But regardless, uh, I'm showing you how to make the chipmunk voice. All right, now what you're going to do is first of all, click over here on your entire track. It's going to select everything. Then you're going to go to Effect, Change Pitch. And then it's saying change your pitch from C sharp to D flat and asks you to go up or down. So you're changing, changing pitch from C sharp to D flat to C sharp D flat. So that's not going to make a change, okay? So what I could do is change here, okay? Or you can do it by half steps. If you know music at all, you know that's going from a white key to a black key on the keyboard. Or you can do it by percentage of change. So what I'm going to do is just use a slider bar and let it do it for me. And I'm going to preview it. Hi, my name's Carrie. I am doing a recording to show you how to make it sound like Alvin. See, that doesn't really sound like Alvin and the Chipmunks. It doesn't sound high enough, so I'm going to go up even higher. And that was too much, so I'm going to back it off. Hi, my name's Carrie. I am doing a recording to show you how to make it sound like Alvin and the Chipmunks. To me, that's a little bit too much still, so I'm going to back it off a little more. Hi, my name's Carrie. I am doing a recording to show you how to make it sound like Alvin and the Ch Okay, and if you like it, you're just going to hit OK. It's going to do that to your file. Okay, so I'm going to cut all this off because there's a lot of silence at the beginning. And then hit play and let you hear it. Hi, my name's Carrie. I am doing a recording to show you how to make it sound like Alvin and the Chipmunks. That's probably copyrighted and I probably shouldn't have said that. But regardless, uh, I'm showing you how to make the chipmunk voice. Okay, so there's Alvin and the chipmunks. Now what I'm going to do is show you another similar effect uh, that will make your voice actually go lower. So I'm going to do Control z to undo everything I just did. And I'm going to leave it all highlighted. Go back to Effects. I'm going to go back to Change Pitch. But instead of going upward with it, I'm going to go downward with it. And listen. Hi, my name's Kerry. I am doing a recording to show you how to make it sound like Alvin and the Chip. Okay, now I'm no longer doing Alvin and the Chipmunks, but that's okay. See, you could go really low. See, now it's so low you can't even understand what I'm saying, so. Hi, my name's Kerry. I am doing a recording to show you how to make it Okay, so does that make sense? If I want to keep it that way, hit OK. It did that to my track. Hi, my name's Kerry. I am doing a recording to show you. So that is how to do an Alvin and a Chipmunks voice or a lower voice. Uh, this is Kerry from FreeOutSDTutorials.com. You can find me there where I do podcast cover art. I do podcast consulting, and I also do website headers. Check it out.